YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Today we're going to take a look at a beer that I've actually had a chance to try before. I'm going to take a look at Gahan 1772 India Pale Ale. Now, I visited the brewery uh, back last summer and I got a chance to try a, try this beer while on tap. I also had the chance to try their uh, the, pol the, the pulled pork uh, pulled pork sandwich that actually had some of this in the, bar in the barbecue sauce there. IPA pulled pork sandwich is really delicious, and um, it was I, I thought it was pretty good, and it's been one of my more popular reviews of Gahan beers over the last year. Recently, um, along with their existing lineup of uh, Sir John A's Honey Wheat and Island Red beers, they've brought out the Iron Horse Dark as well as the 1772 IPA in bottle form. Fuzz, my friend Fuzz, was able to bring it back, bring me back a bottle of this from PEI, so I'm. Glad to actually get a chance to take a look at it and see if the recipe's changed any um, since it's been entered in the bottles. Now, Heist Almighty's feedback on this particular beer, he actually told me that, you know, he tried one and he didn't care for it. That it uh, tasted like drinking dirty water, is was his exact words. Um, and that's a bit of a far cry from what I remember it tasting like last summer. Because back then, it may not have been as bitter as a proper eye could have been, but uh, I thought it was actually a pretty decent tasting beer. So I'm going to take a look at, another look at this one and see what I think. So this one's actually weighing in at a uh, total of 6.5% ABV. Nice blue bottle with a Gahan cap on there. And I didn't get to save many of these caps, so I'm going to be careful in taking this one off if I can be. There we go. Like that. I'll open it. Take a look. And copper in color, this medium body ale has IPA characteristics for being high in alcohol with a very bitter finish. Winners of Canadian Gold, gold Medal 2011. Hmm. Bottled on 12 2011 so last December. It's about five months old. IPA should last a while. All natural ingredients. Gahan Brewery handcrafted ales are brewed the old-fashioned way, using all natural ingredients. Malted barley, hops, water, and yeast. No additives. That's the same stuff they put on all their bottles. Put that in my nice Gahan pint glass, which I got at the brewery itself. The brew pub itself in DEI, Charlottetown. And I think that's about as dark as I remember. The head might be a bit different. The head kind of gives me the impression of being like this, kind of like an apricot brown color or a cantaloupe or something like that. That's actually a weird colored head for an IPA. The body of the IPA, on the other hand, is perhaps a little bit more red dish. Oh, gross. Hold on a second here. Uh, it's been stored upright, but there's like chunks of debris in this thing. Is it dry hopped and unfiltered? It must. Well, it's obviously looking like it's unfiltered. Can you see that, guys? It's all grainy. Ew. That's with like, like dandruff chunks. That's... Ooh, that's a lot of sediment. I was not expecting that because when I got it on tap, it was actually quite clear and quite. It was actually lighter than this, I think. And uh, the head did not have that kind of color. So already I'm starting to see some differences between um, what I had then and what I'm seeing now. So, eesh. let's give it a give it a sniff. It's almost got like it's a very piney scent. Mild pine. Um, a hint of earthy, maybe? With a slightly, slightly white grapefruit smell, like the kind of piney grapefruit smell that you, ex like you would get from a, a white grapefruit. Very... smells pulpy. Interesting. So... It's already being a little bit different than I remembered. Yeah, it's it's like piney. It's 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 like like citrus pulp, very bitter citrus with a uh, with a very sprucey piney smell. Maybe not spruce, but like a cutting a cutting open like pine sap, cutting open as pine up a pine tree. All right, so that's a bit of, that's a bit different. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. 
It's definitely dry hopped. And it's also quite bitter. That's a lot more bitter than I was expecting, what I remembered. There's a lot of piney hop. There's a little bit of a grapefruit citrus, white grapefruit that lingers in the back of the throat. And it's along this bed of a sweet malt. Some caramel flavors. Mm. That's not bad. Mm. I really do appreciate the more intense bitterness. The malt characteristics are kind of lacking in complexity, but the uh, the, the the taste in general. If you like your piney beers, but your piney IPAs, you might actually quite like this one. The bitterness is almost like reaching out beyond your typical piney IPA, maybe going up towards double IPA. And uh, even come to that, it's a little heavy for a India Pale Ale. A little bit of a toasted grain quality in the back too. Hmm. Wow. That's an interesting surprise. It's different. All right, I'm gonna hit pause here and I'll be back with some thoughts. And I'm back with Gahan 1772 IPA, the bottled version. So, what did I think about this one compared to the on tap version I had last summer? Well, I got a chance to rewatch some of my uh, la uh, review from last summer when I took a look at it at the bar. Um, in that review, I said that it had a nice... It wasn't quite as bitter. I thought it was like ballpark of like 40 IBUs or something. Um, and it had a nice taste with a little bit of the toasted grain in the back. A uh, nice piney citrusy taste as well. I find that this one here, while the recipe is largely the same and it shows like the, the pineiness predominating, a little bit of a grapefruit citrusy flavor. Um, the toasted grain isn't quite as apparent. And you know what, in some cases I think of that as a little bit of a, a good thing as far as an IPA goes. Uh, one thing it really does incredibly show with this one here is that they've really punched the balls of the wall on this one when it comes to the actual IBUs. Evidence of this being dry hopped is ex extremely apparent where the sediment in this one here, while there's still a lot in the glass, you can see it's accumulated into a, a pile of sand at the bottom of the mug, um, which may turn off a few people. And if I wasn't, if it weren't for the fact that I'm not really scared about sediment per, per se, uh, it would really probably turn me off. That's Those are huge chunks, man. But one thing they do is they really, really add a lot of bitterness to this. And I gotta say that this thing compared to their previous attempt, has really pushed it. Uh, I'd have to, if I'm not really an expert still on uh, rating IBUs, but I'd have to say this is well over 60. And considering this is a five month old bottle, that's quite impressive that it's held on to that much. Um, it, that said, it's really nice, but there's some visual cues that are really, really off-putting on this one. Well, uh, the flavor, <laughs> while I would gentile. <laughs> While I would have preferred to, to have maybe perhaps uh, a little bit more of a citrusy th uh, taste to it, that's really just a matter of preference. Um, I don't really think it comes off across as being dirty, just really, just really deep piney. Um, and in that sense, I, I still like it. Uh, in fact, I like it more than I did last year, and I'm going to have to give this one a, uh, a 4 out of 5 now. That's a bit of an upgrade. I, I did enjoy this one, 1772 IPA. Uh, I can see where some people wouldn't like it. It would be really, really turned off. But, uh, the only reason it really doesn't get a higher rating is um, there's still a couple of tweaks they could make to the recipe to make the flavors a better. And do something, please, about all that sediment. You don't have to, you know, stop dry hopping so much, but maybe filter it a little more. <laughs> Anyway, thanks, Gahan. Thank you for making this beer. And thank you to the Fuzz for giving me this bottle. I really do appreciate you bringing this back for me, buddy. Um, as for you guys, thank you very much for watching my beer review of Gahan 1772 IPA. I thoroughly enjoyed drinking this. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed watching this. And I'm going to thoroughly enjoy watching a TV show enjoying the rest of this. So you guys take it easy, and I'll catch you later. Cheers. Cheers.